and 24-25. These resolutions uh, outline um, how the county is going to pay for construction of a uh, exercise yard for the detention center and also the three-story annex that uh, the county is in the process of construction uh, just across the street from the present courthouse. Um, this construction was facilitated or uh, brought about, I guess, by a lawsuit, partly by a lawsuit that the county was involved in a couple years ago. And as part of the settlement agreement, um, the county agreed to provide an exercise space for uh, the detention facility. And then also uh, in the long-term future, uh, provide some more beds in the present detention center. And to order, in order to do that, we had to move some of our county offices. So anyhow, these are resolutions of intentions uh, that will fund the construction of the jail yard and the three-story annex. So resolution 2424 is a resolution of intention to borrow money to complete the project. Um, the borrowing is for uh, $2 million. Dale, can I just correct you really? Yes. Quick? So 2424 is not a resolution of intention. It is just a resolution. We do not have to do okay. all that intention. So resolution number 24-24 is not a resolution. It's simply authorization to uh, go ahead and borrow the $2 million, which are going to help fund the construction costs. So at this time, I'll uh, ask for any questions or comments from the commissioners. I don't really have anything to say. It's um, our lawsuit kind of dictated our path here and we don't have a lot of choice. And it's necessary. Nothing from my so if there's not any other uh, comments, I don't think we have any public comment. So I would uh, call for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I would make a motion that we approve resolution 24-24. So we have a motion to approve resolution 24-24. Do we have a second? Mr. Chairman, I'll second that. So we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Motion carries. So resolution 24-25 is the resolution of intent to impose a special levy. Now this one has here Katie and borrow money, but we separated that out, right? No, nope, this is for the judgment levy and the money to borrow for the judgment levy. Okay. It's Jim, if I may heard, Mr. Chairman. Yes. It, it's in theory accomplishing two things, one of which is uh, imposing the judgment levy, and the other one is uh, borrowing money with that levy receipts as the intended payback mechanism. So for which there'll have to be a loan. So the judgment levy, um, that is a permissive levy uh, that is allowed by the commissioners to impose because it's uh, part of a court settlement that we agreed to. So this does not go uh, to the public for a vote. Uh, the amounts are kind of uh, in the middle here of the resolution. Uh, about 2.3 million uh, will go to the relocation of departments to allow for expansion of the jail. 
uh, the departments that will be moving our elections department out of the basement, uh, juvenile probation. And then we have planning department, environmental health, uh, IT, county superintendent of schools. What else am I missing? GIS. GIS. Oh, GIS. So they will be moving over to the annex. Uh, we have a million dollars for the jail yard. We have the two million for the jail expansion. 300,000 for attorney fees, and then we also have to replace some of our servers uh, for evidence collection, and that amount is about $35,000. So the resolution of intent, if uh, passed by the commissioners, will trigger a public hearing uh, that has been set for July 22nd at 10 a.m. Uh, we will take public comment on the proposed resolution. Public can also comment by emailing the commissioners or um, regular mail. There is a copy of this resolution on the Lake County website. So if you want to go in and take a look more at the details uh, go to the Lake County website. So we'll open it up for commissioner comments or questions. I, Mr. Chairman, I really don't have much to say. It's uh, like in conjunction with the resolution we did earlier, it's part of the process. We've tried to be very responsible with our costs and keep the effects down and um, we don't know at this point exactly how much it will be on the taxpayers, but I know I looked at my property at one time and got an estimate it was going to be around $68 a year. Um, and this is for three years. So it's, I think we're doing, being responsible and accomplishing quite a bit. I have no comment. I might add, we also had some of our own money uh, that we applied to the project, uh, ARPA money. That was for the annex, though. But then we took also some of the ARPA money from the boat launch facility, right? Yep. So yep. we had about how much of just our county funds that we're not borrowing or levying. Just a guesstimate. We about two point three million. So we had about that we used of our own. That was already existing money. Right. So, Mr. Chairman, should that yes, be reflected in the in the resolution that the county's kicking in? Two point what? Does it need to be? I don't. I don't think it really needs to be. Probably, yeah. Probably doesn't need to be in the resolution. I just. Uh, just informational? Yeah, I wanted the public to be aware that we had saved some money from our ARPA funds to help with this construction project so that we didn't have to go to the public and borrow the entire amount or levy the entire amount. So if there's no other questions or comments, I would entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I would make a motion that we approve resolution 24-25. So we have a motion to uh, approve the resolution of intent 24-25 uh, resolution to impose a special levy and borrow money. Do we have a second? Chairman, I'll second that. Motion and a second. Any more discussion? All in favor signify by aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you for your work on this, Mr. Raymond and Ms. Tara. Yes. Ms. Tara. Hearing adjourned.